Good morning. Welcome to Live for Five with Pastor Ben. I'm glad you're joining us. It's our last day in Breckenridge. I would be outside, but they're making snow right now, if you can believe that. And uh, we could hear it from our room, so I decided not to take you out there this morning. Plus, there were some distractions. There were people walking and cars going around. So, uh, conference ends today. We're, we're still in Jeremiah. It's been a really interesting study. Uh, this book is really kind of neat. I would encourage you to look at it. Um, I'll, I'll maybe put a, a link to it in a comment below. Uh, it's on Jeremiah the Weeping Prophet, and it's been really kind of neat. We're going to actually, in part, dig into the issue for our Live for Five today that that Dr. Reed Lessing has been addressing was the issue for Israel uh, that Jeremiah was addressing uh, with the people. Uh, but let us make a beginning this morning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it from the rising of the sun to its setting. The name of the Lord is to be praised. Amen. Good morning, Carol. Good morning, Leroy. Glad you're joining us today and everyone else that is on as well. If you pull out the YouVersion Bible app, our verse of the day is Matthew chapter 6, verse 19. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. Now that's all that we got here. That's that's all that they give us for the verse of the day. Uh, but I, I want to read to you what comes next in verse 20 and 21. Uh, so we have the do not, we have the law, don't do this. Um, but then we have in verse 20, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break in and steal. In verse 21, for where your treasure is there, your heart will be also. So we have this disparity, this comparison of treasures on earth with treasures in heaven. So these things that are, are explained in verse 19 are things that are found and accumulated as treasures on earth. And he doesn't tell you what those are. It just gives you the qualities of what those things are, where moths can eat them or rust can destroy them. So there's a comp there's it's left up to you what are these things that moths can destroy or rust can destroy or someone can steal those are the treasures on earth and so jesus then explains wherever you find your treasures that's where your heart can be found and this was like i mentioned earlier this is what jeremiah is addressing with the people of israel for some of them it's a person They've lost a person, and their mourning actually becomes idol worship, and that's what he's addressing. So this is actually a meditative question for you to ask. What is the thing or the things that I invest my life and energy in that will rot and fail? And the evidence that a person is is bent towards these earthly treasures supports this conclusion. A person's heart is, is set on the wrong things if it's set on these things. But Jesus doesn't give us some sort of objective standard of evaluating how am I doing as a disciple in treasuring up things in heaven. He simply just says, don't treasure these things and lets your conscience run wild. And, and we don't like that. We don't like it when our, our own conscience nails us against the wall. We would much rather be able to say, well, if you give me an example of something specific, I can say that's not a problem for me and then I'm off the hook. No, Jesus really lets your conscience be the law. And, and we can't be dis, dismissing this, which is a challenge then. So consider what it is. This is this would be a prayerful portion of your meditation today. What are the things that I treasure up on earth 
And how does that alter my relationships with people? How does my alter my relationship with God? Because whatever you end up treasuring, that's where your heart is. And if that's where your heart is, Jesus then has some more words to say. The, Matthew chapter 6 is part of the Sermon on the Mount. It would be uh, helpful for you to go and read read the whole thing. Read chapter 6. It's, it's kind of long. It seems segmented. It seems like it goes from one topic to the next. But it, it really can hit you hard and it can deliver some amazing, amazing gospel as well. Uh, let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we do not always treasure up the things in heaven that you have shared with us. We often treasure up earthly things and things that we shouldn't. Help us to consider in meditation today what those things are that we have put so much time and effort into that ultimately fall apart. And then help us to turn and cling to you and see what a relief it is that we're not bound by all these things, but that they're tools to serve our neighbor. We thank you for the blessings you have given us treasured in heaven through your son, Jesus Christ. We pray that you would help us to place our heart treasuring those things. We pray all this in your son's name, Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm glad you've joined us, uh, Kaiser and B as well. Have a wonderful day in the Lord, and uh, I look forward to seeing you this coming weekend. We'll be live here on Facebook. We'll also be live in person uh, back at St. Paul's in Durango. So have a blessed day in the Lord, and look forward to seeing you soon. Have a wonderful day.